All right, guys. What's up? Now I'm back out on the roof again. Uh, some of y'all think I like coming out here just for fun, which, yes, sometimes I do. <laughs> um, I just want to reiterate, that's to the booster. You don't need that unless you're trying to, I don't know, you don't need it, okay? I use it for voice, but you can actually just use these right here, the two right there. The wiring uh, dual 45 degree polarizing antennas, wiring, W-I-R-E-N-G, okay? Those things I have orientated, I have, you know, about a foot of space between the left and the right, like I said before, and I have it readjusted. I had to come out here anyway, Hurricane Dorian is coming, so make sure all your bolts are tight. I really don't wanna lose my sweet spot that is, I don't know, somewhere out that way, okay? Just remember guys, I want you to know this. You can do this, man. Like, I am 10 to 15 miles from the tower. I don't know, however you wanna space it. I have a Coast Guard base over here that's across a body of water, a big body of water, okay? And then I'm just 360 degrees surrounded by trees, as you can see. This can be done. You can have internet. You do not have to use satellite. Just buy the wiring antenna. It comes with the cords, run it down, and then it goes right into that MoFi 4500 little jetpack thingy router thing that I showed you, okay? All right, now before I had the jetpack, when I first moved here, facing back here, and I was getting four to six megabits, Somewhere out here, there's probably a tower that's in the boonies that's nowhere near me. Um, so as you can see, I, I got, <laughs> you know, just surrounded by trees, okay? So the biggest, the, the city that's that way, is, I'm pretty sure is where I'm getting um, reception. You do not need anything special. Also, I forgot to mention the Mophi has a setup. When you type in 192.168.10.1, okay, for, for this, all right? <clears throat> I go into it quite frequently to check signal strength. So when I'm up there on the roof and I'm turning the antenna left and right, I can see the signal strength. The dense decibels are going from negative 120 to negative 117 to negative 113, negative 110. About negative 109, negative 110 is my sweet spot. But I just wanna let you guys know before I was getting like negative 118 to negative 120. Now I'm getting about 110 to negative 113. And the reason being it's better is because what MoFi, or actually wiring, what they don't tell you is, see there's the two wires that you plug in into your, your wires here, okay? It basically just goes on an end connector, which I have pretty much electrical taped, okay? Yeah, it's probably not the best setup, but it's gonna do. You could take that and flip-flop them. Take these two wires and flip-flop them. That means plug that wire into that cable and that wire into that cable. It made a huge difference. It dropped me like eight you know, I went from 120 down to like 110, okay? So try it. All right, stay tuned. Here we are with my setup, as you've seen before. This is the primary home network right here. <clears throat> I got my Netgear wiring, or not wiring. <laughs> my Netgear is a MoFi. MoFi, um, what is it? 4G XE LTE version 2, 4500 LTE. Okay, you know, these MoFi's are the same thing as a Verizon jetpack or as a hotspot or anything. This is what a lot of you don't understand. Right here, not this side, on the other side of this thing, there is a slot for a SIM card. Put it in. Why would you want to use this instead of a jetpack or a hotspot? Because when I said it was industrial, it's, it's heavy duty. It can withstand extreme temperatures like up in this attic, which is like 120 degrees. And so it's good. It's got ports on the back. It can be used as a route home router slash hotspot, or you can tether your router as I did right here. And you can have internet that way. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, you've seen my other two videos. I had rural internet part one with a Verizon 8800 MiFi. Now I have a wiring antenna set up on my house. So this is how I have it configured now. Um, this is the same from the very first video. This is a Netgear extender, AC something something, 2200 maybe, I don't know. Um, it's pretty good, okay? When you see all the green lights are on, it's on, okay? That's picking up Wi-Fi from the Mofi. so stay tuned. Some of my configurations, I have Alexa in my son's room. I have Alexa in the hallway so I can harass my son. I have Alexa in my daughter's room so I can harass my daughter. 
I have Alexa in the living room. I have Alexa in the kitchen. And I have Alexa in the bathroom so I can listen to music while I'm taking a shower. I also bought these TP-Link smart plugs by Casa so that way I can control my lights. I also have a landline phone without landline because I'm in a rural area. But guess what? I have it plugged into the bottom of this extender that I showed you in the beginning of the video. And plugged to it is a little Google Voice adapter. All right, get yourself one of these. Free phone, guys. Free phone. I'll give you a phone number and everything. Now, I know you all are wondering what I look like. Well, here you go. Buffalo Bills shirt and all. But I'm living in North Carolina. And what I wanted to do, guys, is show you a speed test at 6 o'clock. Hey, I just can't tell you guys how proud I am of this setup. You know, it's so functional and it works so smooth. All right. So we're going to do a speed test starting now.